good morning everybody it is well may the 4th be with you it's may 4th today it is 7 38 in the morning and 32 degrees and the heaviest part of the storm is rolling through right now look who i got with me guys my beautiful Hi. baby say hi it's snowing. it's snowing a lot babe look at look how beautiful she is oh my gosh you're welcome like so crazy, sweet. huh? Look how cute crazy. He is. Oh. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> what do you guys think of the stash? Let us know below. I already asked. They like oh, it. You they, guys like it? Yep. They do. They do. That's okay. I know you guys are all very loving and you all say very nice things. So it's yes, okay. They do. It's almost like, you know, the American Idol people where the, all their friends told them that they were good, but. <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're going to be taking a cruise by both of the resorts, and then driving out by the Diggity Dam, and then coming back. This is fantastic. Very fantastic. Beautiful. It really is so gorgeous. Beautiful snowflakes, yeah, absolutely beautiful snowflakes. Got to make sure that we keep the defroster on so the windshield doesn't get all icy or the windshield wipers don't. Look at how beautiful the golf course looks though. I'm telling you, this I've never seen the golf course this green like uh, yesterday, the day before and stuff, like uh, for the past week. I've never seen this golf course so unbelievably beautiful. The greenskeeper named Mike, the head greenskeeper, the dude's super, super cool. He does a tremendous job. Keep up the good work, Mike. You are the best. You really are, man. You are a huge asset. That golf course looks so inviting. Guys, look at this. Holy smokes. Can you believe it, baby? Can you believe it? I, to be honest, really cannot believe it. Yesterday was sunny, beautiful, a little bit hot. Nick's telling me to talk louder. Yesterday was sunny, beautiful, and hot, and today it is... It's still sunny, beautiful, and hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, this is so great, you guys. This is so great. You know, what we might do is just, since we're gonna go to the dam, we're, I think we're just gonna go go around the lake since it's not much further because we gotta come back anyway. So I think we're just gonna do that. Because when we did that for the last drive at four in the morning, you guys couldn't, couldn't see much. Look at this, everything's turning white over here. This is so awesome. This is where the old city used to be. Yep. They really knocked everything down and cleared it out. And they put no snow play, no trespassing. No trespassing? No tress. Those trespassers. <laughs> <laughs> There's Bear Mountain, you guys. It's so sad it's closed already. But then again, it stayed open a lot longer than it usually does. So that's a good thing. When I worked there, we closed, I believe. Oh, we, the chair looks are on. Yeah, because the employees are probably working or, or, or doing something. That's interesting that they're on. The sun's out. Yep, that's awesome, dude. The sun is out, you guys. It's peeking through the clouds, even though the clouds are thick right now. But yeah, how you guys doing? Hope you guys uh, got a chance to watch the last video. But if not, I'm hoping you are enjoying this video. If you heard what I just said, then you probably are enjoying this video. Or maybe not enjoying it. Maybe getting through it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure you guys are enjoying it. I love doing these videos for you guys. It makes me feel really good. And it's nice 
having the little wife with me. I'm the little wife. She's the little wife, short and stout. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Once again, I can't believe how green the golf course is. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Yeah, they, uh, he's, that guy, Mike, I think he's been working there. Uh, 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 what, what now? I, I think he's been working there a few years now. And uh, yeah, he's he turned, the, he turned that place around. He turned that place around. And obviously he has a, a good crew working with him. So once again, good job, Mike. Keep up the great work, dude. I can't wait to play a bunch of golf on that course this summer. So how are you this morning, babe? Did you sleep well? Because I haven't slept. <laughs> I did sleep pretty well. You did? Yep. Good. Good, good, good. Any good dreams? Yeah, I've good dreams. really not good dreams, but... Yeah, my my poor poor wife, guys. She has some some bad dreams, and uh, I feel bad about that. I don't want you having bad dreams. I'm fine. All right, guys. So next stop. Snow Summit. Next stop, Coopersville. Alright. Hang a lefty Lucy here on Evergreen. And I'm a little bit bummed out because I don't have my snow tires on anymore. But these were the types of storms that I was expecting. Just a couple more storms like this with, with not much snow. But the, the forecast yesterday was showing that we could get up to 6 inches from this storm. That's not going to happen. But... We still still could see two inches of snow out of this, which will still make everything look just gorgeous. And then we have a nice heat warming trend this weekend. So none of this snow is gonna be here uh, probably by Saturday is what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I think tomorrow it'll all be melted. Today's snowfall is only supposed to last until about 12.30 or 1 p.m. And then that's gonna be it for the snow. And I always check the forecast, as you guys can imagine, and there is nothing that I see coming up in the future in the next uh, 10 to 14 days. So that being said, this, this could be the last snow of the season, and now we're getting sleet. It just changed to sleet, like literally just changed to sleet. You see it bouncing off the hood of the car. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, jeez. That was a lot deeper than I thought, babe. Why don't you tell me about that? It was backcracking. It was what, huh? Backcracking. Backcracking? <laughs> it was backcracking, guys. When we hit it, my back cracked. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, a deer. I know it's do a deer because of do re mi fa so la ti do. Do ti la so fa mi re do. Now we're on Summit Boulevard, you guys. Heading up to Summit. And yes, you can see the sun up there peeking through. Oh, That's no. really cool. Yeah, that is really neat. It's really weird looking through the camera. You can't really see the sun. That's really weird. Lesson for you youngsters out there, never look directly into the sun. It will not work out for you. Or the snow. Or the snow. Okay, so we're just gonna pull up here for a second. We are gonna be coming over here to do a little walkthrough in the next few days at about this time because, yeah. Okay, look, look at how pretty Snow Summit looks, you guys. Snow Summit just closed a few days ago. But look at how gorgeous it is here. so tempting just to drive out there. <laughs> I would never do that, you guys. I would never do that, at least not on video. 
at least not on video. And I know I'm going the wrong way, but there's nobody really here right now. Okay. Okie dokie, artichokey. So we're going to drive through the parking lot and come down Thrush, the exit for Snow Summit. And then we're going to cruise through the village and then go to the dam and around the lake and back home. Back homie. What's up, homie? Seriously, though, I hope you guys are having a good start to your day. When I get back home, I'm going to be going to sleep after I upload the video. And it's horrible because I open for work at 10 a.m. I open for business at 10 a.m. to go do what I do. And uh, this video is not going to be uploaded until probably 10. So I'm not going to get any sleep. But I'll tell you what, though. It's worth every second getting to do this for you guys and with you guys. And getting to read the beautiful comments you guys send me. It's... It's really awesome, and as I said, it's very worth it. Very, very much worth it. Let's see what we got going on here. 31 degrees. We've got a sleet or grapple and snow mix. I don't know how I'm gonna grapple with the thought of that. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's hilarious, guys. He's a comedian. Nice baby. Can you open it, please? <laughs> Be careful your nails on you. Wow, there's, these guys are flying. Look at how fast that guy's going in his white van. Look at you and your white van over there, buddy. Thanks, baby. All right, we're about to, we're about to go. Dang near went blind. Young big Barians at the path throwing up gang signs. So as you guys can see, we are back on Big Bear Boulevard, and we're going to be making a left on Pine Knot to go into the village and just take a little quick stroll through the village and maybe see the village snowing for the last time. But how, how cool is that, babe, that it's May 4th, because then you can say May the 4th be with you. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. She's super amused by that. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear it every year, so. It's... Oh, wrong, young. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> she's supposed to pretend that it's like the first time she's heard it, though, and be like, oh my gosh, honey, you are so clever. Okay, I'll try it again. Okay, may the fourth be with you, babe. Oh my god, you're so funny. <laughs> How clever is that, everybody? that on your own my love don't tell her i didn't think of that on her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i did actually That's i was awesome. yeah i was so i was cute. i was I hiking the other day i was hiking the other day and then i was like may 4th is coming up and i thought to myself what can i say on may 4th yeah like what what kind of a joke could i use on like may 4th yeah, uh, on, on the day that Very it snows clever. Very clever. and then i'm like oh my gosh never heard it <laughs> may life. the 4th be with you. I could not believe it. it, it it's kind of like the South Park joke about um, eating fish sticks. <laughs> keep going. It could be inappropriate, so I don't want to keep oh. going. Yeah. But, you, you you know, do you like fish sticks? Yeah. I know you do. Do you like to put fish sticks... Uh, never mind. We're just getting bad. We're turning back to snow, guys. <laughs> now it's all snow. Wow, look at that. Big, Ooh. big, beautiful snowflakes here at the oh, beautiful village. So this is gorgeous. Yeah, this is really pretty. Look at the little birds. How cute. They are adorable. They They're are like, adorable. This isn't phasing us. This isn't what, baby? Phasing us. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. 
Oh, by the way, I contacted the friends of Big Bear, like who do the Jackie and Shadow channel and stuff like that, to see about collaborating with them. And they got back to me. And uh, so hopefully I'll be able to interview one of the people that, that runs that operation. Oh, to, cool. Yeah. And to, totally, totally, totally. And to pass some information to you guys about just more in depth about what they're all about and good stuff like that. And um, obviously it, it's going to be impossible for, for us to get clips of Jackie and Shadow unless, you know, we flew a drone up there, but we would never do that. I would, oh my gosh, I would never, ever, ever do that. Well, it would be cool, but it would be so, so disrespectful. The oh, they'd be all hateful. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be all hateful comments. Wow, look at those snowflakes. So we are going to stay here in the next couple weeks. As I told you guys, this winter time, it was $1,000 a night. But right now, it's just under 300 per night. And one of you guys actually offered us to use your timeshare for free, which is just crazy cool. But I don't know how right I really feel about that, um, especially since, you know, you only get a certain amount of time each year to use your timeshare. So uh, we'll probably end up just renting it for a few nights, but during the week when it's totally dead, to try and get the cheapest rate possible. I already, already looked into it, and for the two nights, it was with all taxes and fees and, and stuff like that. It was like 750 bucks. But I think that would be awesome. I've always wanted to, to stay there. It is one of the nicer spots in Big Bear. And I'm interested to see how this, how the tires hold up, because we have our regular tires on the car right now. to go home and upload this and then try and get like a 45 minute power nap in. I think that would be fantastic. There's that sun up there. Wow, this is, really is such, a, such a, a pretty place when it snows, you guys. I would love it if this whole town was just greener than green can be. But it's always brown and <laughs> that's one thing I loved about living in Colorado is the Colorado Rockies in the summertime were just spectacular. Just spectaculoso. to enter the heaviest part of the storm and then here's the little radar let's hit the play button there we go so yeah we are coming into it right now and as you guys are well aware of by now we are entering in a moment the snowiest part of big bear valley so i hope you guys are excited about that Oh, and it looks like they just jumped from two inches to three inches of snow out of this next part of the storm. So this is great. This is absolutely great. Let's scroll up a little bit and uh, yeah, this whole area said two inches in the next 24 to 48 hours. So this is great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And always guys, um, for, your, for your regular weather forecast up here, Go to bensweather.com, B-E-N-S-W-E-A-T-H-E-R.com. Um, he's, he's the best meteorologist I've ever encountered forecasting weather. He is, he is so good. And uh, the only reason I use the Weather Channel app is so I can look at the radars and stuff like that and see what's going on like that. But I get all my, all my weather information from Ben and the cool thing is, is that we've become friends and he'll send me 
my own personalized forecast um, so I can tell tell you guys. It's it's just it's a really cool thing that Ben Brissy is my friend. It's really cool. Um, and then let's see here. Uh, hopefully Ben and I will be getting together. Well, we're definitely going to get together in the next couple weeks for some lunch or something. But um, I was telling him maybe we should try to do something on video together because all the weather forecast, you know what? I'm not going to give away my ideas because a lot of my I I ideas do get stolen now, which is unfortunate because um, I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I'm not alone now. So, but uh, just know that I'm trying to collaborate with certain things with Ben. And once again, go to bensweather.com. It's a very in-depth, thorough forecast every single day. The guy's the man. Um, and then also, I've been posting in the comment section of our videos, if you guys want to book a stay up here, um, the owner of Destination Big Bear, we're buddies also, and he, he really cares about you guys. He supports this channel big time also. He's a super good dude. Um, I post information there where all you have to do is just click a link for you to book a stay up here. And if you put in the promo code section, Big Bear Weather, all lowercase, all one word, it's just one long word, Big Bear Weather, you'll get a discount. So you just put that when you're about to check out where it says if you have any like discounts or promo codes and stuff, just put in Big Bear Weather and you will get hooked up. Very nice of him to, to do that for us. Once again, that's Destination Big Bear. They are the, the biggest and by far the best lodging outfit we have up here. But yeah, guys, so check it out. Look, we're getting into the snowiest part of town. I'm going extra slow because I don't have my snow tires on, so I'm a little bit concerned, but we shall see how everything holds up. I'm sure we'll be fine. I am sure we'll be fine. But yeah, I'm trying to do anything I can, you guys, everything I can to help you guys out, to get you guys discounts up here and uh, giveaways and stuff like that. Give you the most and best info I can possibly give you so you can have the best time of your lives. Create some really great lifelong memories up here with your loved ones. Um, yeah, it, it makes me really, really, really happy and thrilled to be able to do that for you guys. You guys are worth it. And I hope you guys take advantage of it. Just click on the pinned comment. There's, well, open the comment and then at the bottom of the comment on these videos is that link. Um, if you want to book a vacation up here, just click on that. And then don't forget to enter Big Bear Weather, all one word, all lowercase, in the discount area, the, the part where you would type in your promotional code. How you doing, baby? I'm Are, doing great. Oh, look at that little waterfall there. Yes, that That's is a, so a, a beautiful little waterfall. I was going to cover that one, too which I can still do. And I'm, I'm really glad to see it flowing like that. That's awesome, really awesome. Are you nice and warm yet, babe? I feel good, yeah. Good, good, my good. My still cold, but that's because my boots got we're snowed outside. on, yeah. Got a little bit snowed on. So my toes are cold, but I'm doing great. This is nice. This is the kind of snow I like, where you can you know, still enjoy it, drive around, get from A to B. It does. It doesn't take much to transform this town. And another great part of this time of year snowstorms is that, as I said, all this snow will be gone by tomorrow. Look at how much heavier it is on this side. That's insane how much of a difference. Yep. As I tell you guys every single video that we drive out here, this is the snowiest part of town. And when I say, once again, the snowiest part of town, it's the snowiest part of the valley. But the snowiest part of the whole town will be Upper Moon Ridge. Oops, we see we're sliding right now. I'm good, babe. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're gonna turn right here on Highway 38 and head into the fawn skin area. And hopefully we get some good views of our lake right here. Oh babe, it's so, that lake is so pretty when it snows like this, oh my gosh. Bear crossing signs and everything. Welcome to Christmas time. I love it so much. And you guys will see when we get back closer towards where we are, where we stay, it's, there's not gonna be as much snow. As you guys remember at the, the beginning of the video, I don't think our roads were covered like this over there. But I'll tell you what, those snow tires make a huge difference. I can feel it. I can feel it. And can you feel the snow difference with your regular tires? It is where you'll find. Oh, it's... Guys, I'm sorry I'm constantly saying how pretty it is, but it really is gorgeous out here. Thank you guys for joining us, for taking this cruise with us. We, we really care about you guys an awful lot. Oh my gosh, look at, like, it's so weird seeing all this water come right up to the edge here. It is so nice, babe. Look at that. There's usually a beach right here the whole time that I've lived here, not anymore. Babe, high five. Right here, babe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can slow this down. Hey, Birdie. Don't fly in front of the car. Oh. oh, this is just great. This is just great. I thought that big rock was a big tumbleweed. My eye was playing, eyes were playing tricks on me. This is one part of the fawn skin area. Even though I don't think this is technically fawn skin, I think this is, you know what, actually, yeah, I think this is Big Bear Lake, these homes right here. I think that's the address, but I'm not sure. Could be fawn skin. I mean, we're almost to fawn skin. sideways and record a time lapse of the whole drive like a fast time lapse and then we could uh, post it in the same same video so they can watch the the regular version and then right afterwards the super fast time lapse will come through that might that might be cool look at the lake you guys wow I'm so glad you came with me today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, babe. Oh, are you kidding me? Of course. 
Okay, one of my favorite views and one of my all-time favorite houses in this whole town is right here. I don't know if you guys can, can tell, but this view right here from their house is just insane. It's, oh my gosh. Can you imagine waking up to that every single day, baby? Someday I'm gonna be able to do that for you, I promise you that. It's gonna be a while, or it might not be, who knows, but it's gonna happen someday. This beautiful woman, man, she deserves everything. Everything, brah. Oh, brah, you know what again? She deserves everything. Okay, so right now we're passing through the eagle's habitat. What On the left. What tree do you think they're in? I have no idea, but it's like a square or like kind of a weird looking top. So I'm always looking for that top. If we walked through here or walked down this street a little bit, we could probably find it. I just have to watch the Eagles channel a little bit because they sometimes show the Eagles from a different tree, like showing that tree. Well, I know it's like facing like this. Well, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's oh, the, okay. that's the angle that the camera's facing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's not going to help us look at off it. The road or I don't think it's that far off the road. I, I really don't think it's that far off the road, honestly. The outpost. Yes, we can stay there for sure. And I think that would be awesome to stay there sometime. So guys, we are here, and right here is Grout Creek. This is the tributary that we always come to, and it looks like it's still flowing nicely. We're gonna come do another video there in about a week to keep up to date on what is going on in the creek of Grout. Watch out, buddy. And then when I was coming up here with my friend whose parents had a huge house on the other side of the lake, we, he, he took me to North Shore Cafe one time for, for breakfast and it was really, really, really good. Really good. But that was when I was like 19 years old, so 29, 39, so like 23 years ago. I can't believe it's been that long, oh my gosh. It's been a long time. Maybe I was 20. And don't quote me on it, but I believe they only serve breakfast there. I could be wrong, but uh, most of the times that I drive by it, it's not open. And I think usually because I'm driving by later, but yeah, if, if, if you guys get a chance and you want to eat in a cute, cute little breakfast place over on the quiet side of the valley, then please come on over here and go to North Shore Cafe. It's so pretty, honey. Look at these big old snowflakes. Wow, gigantic. I'm, I am so surprised. I cannot believe it. I was even asking Nick last night, do you really think we're gonna see snow? He's like, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. A lot of people can't, but this is not rare. This is not like a... No, I mean, I've been up here going on four years now but still the springtime snow and rain oh, always it's surprises me really it rains hard in the springtime the first year i was here funny story as soon as spring hit i went out and bought a bunch of flowers down the mountain at home depot and i planted this really beautiful garden out in front of my house and three days later it stormed so hard there were no more flowers yeah it just was like <laughs> that happens up here all the time Got a picture of it though. <laughs> a lot of people, and some years it it happens twice when they start their garden, and then uh, oh my it, gosh. we get freezing temperatures, and then all their plants die, and then well, had I known, they start I their garden again. Done and, things a little differently, but I that was my first year up here. I had no idea how extreme the weathers can be and how quickly it can change up here. But now I know. But still, it's always surprising. As it's really dumping over here. This is great. This is beautiful. Temperature is right out freezing. Oh, 
it is so pretty. Look how high the water is right there, babe. Wowzers. Wowzers. Whoa. Tomorrow for the aftermath video, we will do the whole entire valley. And this side of town will still have a little bit of snow, but I can guarantee you the other side of town, it won't even look like it got any snow. Look how big these flakes are, you guys. Let me zoom in real quick so you can really tell. That is so cool. These are some really big, beautiful snowflakes. not to hit the gas too much because I know it's really loud. For those of you wondering why my exhaust is so loud, trust me, I didn't do that on purpose. I'm not one of those. I mean, my my motorcycle, my Harley is really loud, but um, this was not on purpose. This is loud because there was nowhere to put my train horns on this vehicle. And I've got like the nicest Nathan air chimes you can buy. And uh, so my friend cut my muffler out to make space underneath the car for, for the train horns. And it was cool for a week, <laughs> but now it's like, geez, it's kind of loud and annoying, kind of like me. Visibility is down to maybe a sixth of a mile. This is, this is wonderful. You guys, this is why I moved up here for this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful snow makes me so unbelievably happy. I've told you guys a million times, I can get through anything in my life that's really, really, really difficult when it's snowing outside. I don't know why, never understood it, but this is like the best antidepressant. And I am so unbelievably happy that a lot of you get the same thing out of it. You have no idea how happy that makes me. To be able to touch even one person's life for a, in a positive way, I, I mean, that makes everything worth it. That makes everything I'm doing worth it. And, and look at the sun up there. Look at how cool that looks. It looks like a light bulb, like we're on the Truman Show. But yeah, you guys, it's been such a blessing to be able to share this wonderful experience with you guys. It's almost kind of like following my life, huh? And thank you guys for being so receptive to it and enjoying what I do taking a liking to me and my wife and um, our pets and yeah we are we are very very blessed and very grateful to have each and every single one of you in our lives thank you guys so much for everything like for absolutely everything I always tell you guys the biggest blessing one of the biggest blessings if not the biggest blessing I, I've ever had is having you guys in my life as as my family and I never saw that coming from this channel. Never, ever, ever. Oh, and if uh, if you guys come up here, just know I, I always make an effort if you reach out to try to just meet up with you and shake your hands, just say hello. Um, the other day, our friends from this channel, Gigi and her husband, Alex, came up here, not to see me or us, but they were up here and they really wanted to and uh it, it, it was awesome i mean just just incredibly sweet people and you you guys who've been here for a while have have seen gg on the comment section often the two letters gg not g-i-g-i -I, but just gg really 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 sweet and uh once again it's stuff like that that makes this whole channel worth it I love sharing this experience with you all. These snowflakes are incredibly giant, big. Giant. I mean, really, like huge, right, babe? Yeah. Like ginormous. And I contacted the the Discovery Center.
about making a video and they said I have to get a permit. So I have to get a permit through, well, you guys don't need to know that, but yeah, so I am gonna get a permit so I can do a video at the Discovery Center. My good friend Nick, French Nick, runs the uh, uh, the uh, of the solar observatory, and so he said once all the remodeling is done and the upgrades, he's gonna invite my wife and I to come do a video over there. So that's super cool. I feel so unbelievably blessed to know such amazing people. And the fact that these people actually respect me is just so cool. I'm used to being, you know, dumped on most of my life. And so it's just really, really nice to have people show me so much love, so much respect. And I give it right back because I, I love these people. and I love you guys. There's the sun again. So cool. But this is the, this is, uh, oh my gosh, Baker's Pond. Jeez Louise, I finally remembered right away. Look at how much water is still in there. I'm hoping the water sticks around for a while. Yeah, you guys, instead of turning right here, we are going to go straight and go through Fox Farm to Moon Ridge to get back. But in the meantime, I think we're gonna shut off, or you know, we'll just focus it on my beautiful bride here. <laughs> Look at that smile. Wow, you are so pretty. You are so pretty. Oh, thank you. You're so welcome, babe. I'm still sleepy, I just woke up. And, and, and she's got her cute boots that I got her on. Yeah, they're a little bit damp, but. And he just got me some really cool hiking boots, guys. He surprised me with some really awesome hiking boots. I told boots. him about it, that, that I was surprising you um, and that I was hoping you don't watch that video <laughs> to that length of where I was talking about it and she didn't I, I actually did I just wanted to act surprised so. oh oh babe well thank you thank you for doing that and I got her a few pairs of some really good merino wool socks mm -hmm. you guys know how I am about the merino wool huh? I'm huh? really excited about it yeah guys I spent a pretty penny on these boots on these hiking boots especially because I know that she and I are both scared of snakes and stuff like that so um, I wanted to get really really good just in case a snake does does bite at our ankles type thing um, these things will, will definitely uh, the snake's teeth will not get through depending on the you know the snake's area teeth he decides to bite but well, I really want to get one of those hiking like one of those hats I don't know what they're called but they're like the beehive hats with the netting around it yeah what is well, that called well we don't have too much of a mosquito thing well, I just up, don't up like here. flying bugs that, that, that's true period like she, she gets so flies, freaked out over bugs you guys I don't know what it is something just comes over me you guys and I swear after it's over I'm so embarrassed because of my reaction I'm like she I freaks out. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so like, cute. Don't freak out, but my body's like, ah. I don't like flies. Flies are the worst to me. Yeah, and, she, and anything, she'll like run, guys. Like run from a fly. It's the, it's the, the weird cutest part thing. Is, is that when I was younger, I loved bugs. Like I would pick up worms and chase boys around with them. And once I hit like 12, 13, it was the most disgusting thing to me. I don't know what changed, but it changed. Lizards, bugs. I don't do them, but I definitely want to go hiking. I love the sights and the, you know, adventure and just the whole experience of hiking. But I am a little worried about the bugs and the, the lizards and the, and the snakes. I mean, you guys saw those lizards chase after me. It's a real thing. But yeah, those hiking boots, you guys. They're I think it's a company called called Merrill. I think I, I think it's called Merrill. Um, there were a couple different brands I was looking at, but as I said, I dropped some some good dig on these things, and they're I'm really excited to wear my. They're they're vented. Um, they've got supposedly really unbelievable grips on them. 
so yeah because I don't I don't want us slipping on rocks and stuff like that and uh, they're waterproof also yeah like it's, it's I want my wife to feel feel as safe as she can I know it's gonna be quite an ordeal when we go hiking because of her serious fear of these things but I have fear of these things too just not quite the same reaction but I'll tell you what guys it, she has the it's the cutest reaction but then I feel bad for my poor <laughs> poor baby because I always she'll, cry after. yeah because she, she'll start crying part of the crying is because I'm in, I'm a little embarrassed like it's uncontrollable and I do try to control it like it, when the snake was chasing me it wasn't chasing he, you I swore he was chasing me and I swore he like grew a couple legs to get go faster you know? Jeez, Louise. <laughs> She's not though, you guys. <laughs> no, I, no, the thing is, is that he crossed my toes, okay, practically touched them, and then when I ran, I did think he was chasing me, and I kept telling myself, like, he's not chasing you, but then I'd look back and think, <laughs> oh, my oh my god, god there he is. <laughs> and then it just ended up being Nick. Yes, I'm the snake. <laughs> no, you're not. That's not what I meant by that. Yeah, yeah. I just meant I was scared because you were Yeah, crying. yeah, yeah. Oh. That's right. You're so sweet and cuddly. That's right. And then sometimes you're like, Rawr! Hey, See? Gotta, Just like a bear. gotta keep the pack in line, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna turn left. Right now we're on a street called Cougar. And we're gonna turn left here on Douglas. I wish this GPS in this car would show the name of the street on top like my like like my brand new car does as you guys know for the calm before the storm video we actually did a uh, we drove around in my new car which was nice but now in the next couple days I'm gonna be lowering the insurance all the way to storage level because I'm not gonna be driving it for a while maybe till next winter time who knows as I said I I, I, I can't afford to pay over 300 more dollars per month to insure it to continue doing that so unfortunately I got to do what I got to do but the good thing is it's only got 6,000 miles on it it's a 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT it's literally the nicest most upgraded Subaru you can buy it's it's the top of the line Subaru. It was like 50 grand, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, the good thing is, is you know, if I don't drive it for a year, and, and let's say I'm like really, really, really needing money, then I could probably sell it. That's not a guarantee, but I could probably sell it and uh, be okay. But I heard it takes about three to five years for your insurance to uh, to go back to normal after an accident. And that was my first accident that I've ever been in, you guys. Ever been in. Not just my fault, but ever been in. So it was a bummer, but it is what it is. Guys, thank you again for everything. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for sharing this beautiful, beautiful experience on this YouTube channel with us. We love you guys so much. And as I always tell you guys, if, if you guys need anything, don't ever, ever, ever hesitate to contact us, okay? All right, and don't forget to like and subscribe, babe. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? And uh, hit the, the notification bell to be notified of all our newer videos. I'd really appreciate it. I work really hard for this. It, it would really help us out. And share the channel with your friends. And share. Let them get the great experience of Big Bear, Big Bear Weather and more. 100%. So thank thank you guys. We really do love you guys a lot and uh, you guys have been the biggest blessing I've I've ever experienced in my entire life besides this one. So Yes, and thank you for following us. Like Nick said, we got to meet a couple of you guys this week. You're all so sweet and loving and so happy to see us. It's awesome to be greeted that way. So thank you all. It really is awesome, you guys. So yes, definitely thank you guys again. We are going to cut out here we are on moon ridge road um 
yeah, just have a great rest of your day, you guys. If for some reason we get blizzard conditions in a few hours, I will be back out and doing another video. But for right now, hasta la vista, baby. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Dave, I, I love this.